here. Got uh, a few Rabo lined up there. Going for some lake trip and we got uh, uh, Dave is going to cook up some food. Probably deep here too. Probably very deep actually. Oh yeah, it is very deep. It's biting, but I wonder if it's attached. Might be a small one. Come on, be a big one. It's pretty deep. Oh, it might be a small one. Hold on. Oh, it feels small. Almost there. Oh, it's a ling. It's a burbot. A burbot. Okay. Nice. Yo, we could eat that. Apparently, they're tasty. They're uh, gross looking, though. There we are. Beauty, eh? Hell yeah. Fuck yeah. Okay, I'm going to put it in the water and uh, take it off. It's got a good too. GoPro stop recording. They have teeth. And it's right in there. Hold on, I got, I got players. You do? Oh, sorry, little guy. Got a uh, burbot. This actually would be the uh, first one that I've ever ever caught before. Cool. Let's clean this uh, get this guy out. Yep. Oh, and Dave got a lake trout. Lake trout, first one of the day. Yeah. Pretty. All right, buddy. 
Hey, hold on, hold on. Are you hooked? There you go, bud. Back in the water. Oh, good. There we are, boys. Go for it, start recording. That's on one. Come on, be a Laker. This has been the good spot, eh? Yeah, not too shabby. Uh, oh, it's not fighting. Did I lose it? No, it's still there. Laker! There you go! Oh, yeah! Alright, stay hey, one. Oh, <laughs> I mean... Squishing. You the pliers? Yeah, maybe. <laughs> Got it. Shit. Well, might not need them actually. Fine. Got a nice Laker. Oh yeah. Little guy, but pretty decent. Not too bad. Second fish of the day. Two lake trout and uh, one burbot. Sit that guy back in there. So as you can see, we're out on the lake today, doing some ice fishing, trying to catch some uh, lakers. No luck yet for me, but. Those guys are both on the board. Two lake trout and one burbot. Hopefully I can get one soon. So it's been a few hours. No one else has gotten any fish. Just bites for me. Only got about, let's see, 20 minutes of sunlight left. Let's hope. But I'll let you know if I do. Or just take the batteries and put them in your inside pocket for like 10 minutes. You probably got a few minutes of juice out of it. Shove it, tuck it right underneath your balls now. <laughs> Perfect spot. <laughs>
So it's a day later and I've decided to drive all the way back out to where this video started. Now, if you remember, I didn't catch anything last week. But my two buddies did. Uh, it's Lau from Venture Creek and Dave from Agoma Expeditions. Two Lakers and a Burbot between them two. I'm hoping this is gonna be it. I really just want a quality lake trout, something to take home and eat. And I'll be happy. But like I keep saying with every other spot, <laughs> we'll see what happens. All right, check in with you guys when I'm way over there. See you over there. So I'm all the way over on the other side of the lake now. I've got both rides set up. But it is windy over here too. Glad I brought this ice shelter. It's a pop-up ice shelter. I'm gonna need it. We're only four and a half hours out of here. Well, let's just hope the fish is open. We'll see. It's on. Oh, it's a nice one too, I think. What we got? Oh, Laker. I'd say it's a keeper. Oh. Oh. Now I gotta measure this guy. Because if he's under 21 inches, I can only keep one more if it's over 21 inches, I believe. Time to put this guy out of his misery. I don't want him suffering. Yeah, I really doubt it. He was over 21. All right. So if I get another one, it's got to be bigger than 21 inches for me to keep. And if you're curious what I got him on, this is rose gold colored Swedish pimple spoon with the uh, yellow accent there. And a, uh, well, I guess it probably depends 
from bait shop to bait shop, but I got him on a large size minnow. My shop has them in small, medium, and large. Yeah. Actually, the second fish I got on this lure. The other one was that perch. Well, in all that excitement, that fish got my line all kinds of messed up. I'm gonna spend the next little while fixing this. Oh, what a nightmare. You can see, got this bell rigged up with a twist tie. I don't know why, but these type of bells, the uh, the uh, spring that kind of holds it together, the clamp part, they do, they just, they just do not want to stay in. So you gotta watch out for that because they'll fly out because the little piece right there that hooks in, they come loose. So frustrating. Anyways. That's it. Oh yeah, still got three hours out here. Let's hope it doesn't take that long to fix this. Yeah, this is good and messed up. Little tip I found that works reasonably reasonably well is that when it's all a big tangled disaster like this, just kind of start gently pulling on all different kinds of strands. But pay attention if you see not like if you see it starting to tighten. Okay, don't pull that way anymore. If it's starting to loosen, okay, keep going. Something like that. Seems to work. Beats having to re respool your entire thing. Alright. Well, we're back in action. Should have set up a way to uh film and show you guys exactly what I was saying there about just kind of pulling. But uh, kind of need both hands to do it. But yeah, that's all I did. Just gently start pulling in different directions. As long as it's loosening. Right? The kind of where they're wrapped around each other. As long as each of those starts coming looser, you're pulling in the right direction. If it's tightening, well, stop. But alright. Going to get this back in the, uh, the hole there and hope for some more. This is actually my first leaker ever, too. Unless I got one when I was a little kid. I don't remember, but I doubt that. My family always talked to me about some giant pike I got when I was little. But, you know, fish stories, eh? Probably wasn't that big. Big for me, for sure, but, yeah. Yeah, first leaker, I think. Pretty exciting. And it's actually so nice out here too. The wind's really died down. I mean, it's still blowing a bit, but it's tolerable. Not that it was that cold. It's only about minus five out here right now, but you know, when that wind is blowing and when it's constantly blowing, right? Turning out to be a good day. Glad I can finally use all this footage and finally make a video too. <laughs> Four outings. I thought I wasn't gonna get anything. Oh, well, way it goes sometimes, but didn't turn out that way. I actually got a fish, so that's awesome. See a couple of guys on sleds way over, over there. 
it's very unusual to see i'm actually pretty far out of town right now about a good uh 30 40 kilometers north of civilization there's a there is a lodge uh that way but that's about it and there's a few camps i think about three but yeah Well, the sun's almost past the horizon now. I'm thinking I'm going to start to slowly pack her in. Not much else has happened in the last little while since I last checked in with you guys. But uh, that's all right. With that one laker, I would consider this a success for sure. And it's, uh, yeah, it's 4.30 now. Get out of here by five that gives me a good hour and so to hike out back to the back to my uh my vehicle that's one thing you kind of always got to be aware of is uh how long your vehicle's sitting in the cold it's not so bad if it's in the sun but once it's in the shade and the cold that's where you can get stuck but yeah but started out as a miserable windy day actually turned out quite nice Glad I came out here. But yeah, as I said, guys, that's going to do it for me. Just want to say, if you watched up to this point, thanks for uh, clicking on this video. Thanks for watching it. Really appreciate it. I know my channel's new. And uh, new channels always really, really appreciate any, any viewership. Well, I'm all packed up now. Time to get out of here. I got about a kilometer and a half hike right over there.
one last look at the lake. Finally out of here. Well, once again, thank you so much for watching. Stay tuned for the next one.